Hi, this is Trey Lath from Open Helix. Today's tip of the week is on MapMe. MapMe is at ABI at the InWrite group. You won't be able to find it if you look at the tools or database or those links, but if you go to the InWrite group, you'll find it there. MapMe is a tool for mapping and analysis of microRNA sequences. And so today I'm just going to show you how to basically use it. It's relatively straightforward, but can give you lots of information about microRNAs. So you can start an analysis using your own sequences or browse the database of pre-computed results. What we're going to do is a quick, just do a quick uh, new analysis. Let's scroll down here a little bit quick <coughs> to find out more. MapMe is a tool designed to locate uh, microRNA precursor sequences in existing genome sequences. They use Ensemble. As you see here, they use bow tie and RNA fold in their algorithm. And there's a reference here that's also linked in our blog post. So let's get right to starting a new analysis. Now when you start a new analysis, you need to put your input sequence of your mature microRNA sequences, as it says here, in a FASTA format. So let's do that real quick. I'm going to go to MRI base and cheat a little bit. I'm going to browse. And I'm going to find dog. Now this will test your ability for um, clades. Figuring out clades, bilatera, deuterostoma, chordata, vibrata, and there we are. So we, now we can get a list of dog microRNAs. I'm just going to look at this first one. Scroll down a little bit and get the sequence for the mature mRNA. And I'm just going to copy and paste it. Go back to the server and paste this in. Now, I have my, you can do the threshold. This is permissive is 25, extremely conservative is 45. We're going to do the 35, which is the default they put it on, as you see here, default. Okay, then you choose your species. I'm <clears throat> scroll down. I'm going to choose um, cow, let's see, dog, and let's just choose a couple others just for fun. You can change some of the parameters here. We're just going to leave that and we click map me. As you see, my job has been added and it will take a while to search those genomes for my mature sequence and to see what we find in either Drosophila, fish, zebrafish, dog, or cow. So we'll come back here in a second when those results are complete. And there they are. So you can download the results or you can just view them here in the web server. And here, as you see, I, I pulled out many. I pulled out a lot from cow, from dog, from fish, and one from Drosophila. So now you can explore these a little bit. You can order them by the sequence. You can order them by score. Let's do that real quick. There you go. Highest score is zebrafish here. Uh, the precursor end and start locations, strand, the chromosome it's on, and the mR and the microRNA, as you see here, they're all related. <clears throat> now you could go ahead and download the results. Again, if we go back to MapMe at the beginning, your other choices here are to browse the database of pre-computed results. You choose your species. There's many to choose from. You choose your match type. It could be match the species, match a perfect match, etc. And then put your, MR, your microRNA name in the microdatabase and we'll give you your results. So that's MapMe. Check it out. If you need to do some mapping and analysis of microRNA sequences along with um, microRNA database there, MERBase. And we'll see you next week. Thanks for stopping by.